So uh, we're going to do another review here. Uh, this is a uh, relatively new kit that came out within the last month or two. Um, this is going to be a review of Academy's uh, U.S. Navy SBD-5 Dauntless. Um, and this is going to be the Battle of Philippine Sea uh, in 148 scale. And uh, this is actually a rebox of the Accurate Miniatures kit, um, which from my uh, research on this uh, is pretty much the best 148 scale kit of uh, a Dauntless that can be found. Um, so Academy uh, is reboxed it, uh, and this is the second version that they have had. Um, they had an SBD-2 also. Uh, that was a Midway uh, aircraft, and then now this one is a later war uh, version. So uh, I really like this version because I like the paint scheme. Um, it has the three-tone uh, paint scheme with the, with the uh, gray, uh, light blue, and then dark blue on the top. Um, that's a pretty cool uh, paint scheme, if you ask me. I'm, in I'm interested in uh, trying that. And it just so happens I have a uh, Vallejo uh, set of uh, model air uh, for U.S. Navy aircraft that I've been itching to try, so uh, this would be uh, this would be a good kit to do that. Uh, so just on the box here, um, on the end, uh, there's some uh, you know photographs of the of the actual completed model, um, showing also that it does come with uh, canopy masking um, and also a small fret of photo etch, um, showing you know the detail of the air brakes, which is on this aircraft a pretty key part. Um, and there are photo etch options, um, but from reading on this, um, this kit uh, is very, very accurate and uh, well detailed and, and probably doesn't need a photo etch kit to go along with it. On the end, uh, this is going to be kit 12329 uh, from Academy. And a little paint call out on the end here, um, and it gives you call outs for Humbrol, um, Aqueous Hobby Color, Mr. Color. Uh, Life Color, Testers and Model Master, Ravel, Vallejo, and AK Interactive. Um, pretty much everything except Tamiya. So, um, got the warnings here on the side and uh, other things, and pretty much on, it's the same on that side. So, let's, uh, let's jump into the, uh, into the box here. So, this is uh, just opening it up here, uh, very, very nice. Uh, looks like well packaged, um, a couple of sprues per, per uh, case. And just gonna grab a knife here so that uh, I can open these. Actually a pair of scissors will work. And I have not opened this kit yet. So we'll just take a look at some of the sprues and how well they have done with this or not how well, however that works out. Okay, so just taking a look at the fuselage here, I mean, it, this has really, really nice uh, panel lines that are, that are recessed. Um, no raised panel lines here on this kit, that's for sure. Um, looks like you got a little bit of a stain on the plastic, but that, that's not anything to worry about. Um, nicely detailed cowling over the top Looks like that might be the cowling for both of the, of the front machine guns uh, and also the, um, the instrument panel. Um, more here. These are very, very nice, nicely done rivets. Here we can hopefully show you a little bit of that here. Fairly nicely done there. And check out some of those panel lines. A little bit of a shadow there. Sorry about that. So that's looking good so far. We'll see how the fit is when, when you actually um, put it together. But uh, that's looking great. And then uh, these are the top and bottom section of the wings. And again, uh, nicely detailed with uh, panel lines. And again on the top. I don't see any sink marks or anything like that or uh, flash on these at all. And again, we can take a look at the closer close up there. Very nicely done. Okay, so these two sprues look like the uh, the 
parts of the engine and probably the elevators looks like. So some nice wiring detail there for the engine to go on the front. That'll look that'll look good. Um, maybe a little bit thick. You could you could replace that with photo etch, I suppose, um, if you chose to. And looks like we've got a uh, couple of bombs here that are included. We got the smaller. I believe these are 100 pounders or maybe 50 pounders. I'm not sure. Um, and then looks like a 500 pounder for probably underneath. Um, Nicely done in that it includes, I believe that's the fuse. Someone can correct me on that, but I believe that's the fuse in there. That usually doesn't come with a lot of the ordnance that I've seen done in kits before. Uh, these are some of the uh, interior details for the air brakes. Or the dive brakes. Um, and then again, uh, very nicely done on, on detail here. So. Okay, and here we have the, looks like the interior of the dive brakes themselves. And these are very, very finely done. The holes are all punched very uniformly. Um, no flash. Uh, actually, I say that, but there is a little bit of flash right there that will need to be cleaned up. Let me see if I can get a better close-up for you there, right there in the corner. Um, a little bit of flash there. Um, this kit is a, is a little bit older from my understanding. Um, Accurate Miniatures, you know, started making these in the early 2000s. So, you know, the molds may be getting a little bit older now. Uh, but other than that, I don't see any flash or anything like that. On this side, we've got the interior details of the uh, cockpit that go on uh, both sides of the walls there. Uh, we've got landing gear. Um, are those? Not sure if those are supposed to be there or if those are ejector pins. Not sure about that, but if those are ejector pins, they look like they're going to be showing, but maybe not. Maybe they go. Um, they might. Those might be the attachments up underneath the wing, so maybe it won't be showing. Uh, everything else looking very good. Very good. Don't see any ejector pins really that are going to need to be taken care of that are that are standing out here. Um, I believe this is. If this is, this is an interior of the seat. And there is an ejector pin right in the center of that. If you can see that, there's an ejector pin right there. And if that is in fact the seat, um, that's going to have to be taken care of either that, either by putting a pilot in there, which the kit does not come with, um, or by filling that. And uh, thanks to Flory Models, I have learned how to make my own uh, sprue filler uh, made from plastic. Uh, uh, styrene plastic and, and uh, liquid form and it does fill that. It'll fill that very nicely. Um, ejector pins here on the, looks like maybe the firewall that is. There's ejector pins there and those are going to be not easy to fill because you've got detail that are there that need to be filled, that need to be protected. So that one's not going to be fun. If that's a showing part, that's not going to be fun. And let's see, what else do we have here? Um, these are where the tires, um, th this kit does give you the option of a weighted tire versus um, a normal version. Um, so you have that option. Um, if you're gonna you know, build it as it's, as it's taking off or maybe in, a, in, a, in an in-flight mode, um, you know, maybe you would wanna use these. Um, but then if it's on the ground or whatever, then you would wanna use uh, the weighted versions. So, um, Everything else looks very nice. Uh, machine guns here. Um, hardly any detail on those at all. They're pretty pretty flat. You might want to you might want to replace at least the barrels on those. I'm sure you can probably find a replacement. And uh, looking here at the engine, uh, very very nice detail there. 
Um, there is a mold seam that goes all the way around it, so that's going to be a little tough to fill, or I'm sorry, to, to remove. So that's going to be a little bit hard. Um, if you end up uh, having the full cowl over the top of it, you'll never see that anyway, so I wouldn't worry about it. And most people are going to build this um, with the cowl in place and not have any engine showing. But if you are going to do the engine showing, then you're going to have to worry about that mold seam. Um, no flash here or anything like that. Um, so, looking good. All right, and not a lot of parts in this kit. It's a typical World War II aircraft where it's not a lot of parts. You could, you know, probably build this in a weekend if you really wanted to. So we've got the clear parts here. And this kit also gives you the option of a full one-piece canopy uh, for the rear canopies at least um, and also split up. And these are, um, these are well done. Um, although in, in this section right here, there's, I'm not sure if that's a scratch or if that is a miss mold or something like that. Um, the canopies are okay. Um, nothing spectacular. I've seen clearer. Um, I've seen better, but, uh, you know, for the cost of this kit, which is $25 or so in that area, us, I mean, that's, that's the things you have to expect. Um, so you know, there's that little um, defect right in there. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that or not. But yeah, there you go, right there. You can see that. Um, and then the, uh, the instrument panel is done as a clear part. And you can actually, the dials are on there and everything, but it'll have to be painted um, so that you can still see the, uh, still see the glass uh, dials. Um, that'll be a little bit of a challenge, but nothing that can't be overcome. So not bad there. Um, like I said, I've seen better, but I've seen worse too. All right, so uh, let's take a look at the instruction manual here. And so the kit, as I said, does come with um, canopy masks and they are all, they're not like Tamiya where um, they just lines and you have to cut them out. These are actually scored. Um, so you can actually, uh, so you can pull those out of there. So. A uh, little small photo, photo etch fret uh, with your seat belts, um, you know, nicely included there with a little bit of photo etch. So that's, that's nice instead of having to make your own if you want to use these. And then the, the decals um, are done by Cartograph. Thank you, Academy. Um, if any of you have ever done um, Academy kits, you know that their decals can be a challenge. So... Um, Thank you. These were done by Cartograph, so they should be very, very good and should go down very nicely. So nothing, shouldn't have to worry about that. So the kit uh, does have two manuals. And uh, the first one is basically the assembly of the kit. And the second one, I believe, is a sprue map and uh, also um, the uh, stencil data on there and then the painting guide on the inside. So just looking at the manual here real quick, uh, it's a typical Academy fold out and starts out with the cockpit, of course. Um, and uh, those ejector pins we were talking about on that firewall uh, or on the cockpit bulkhead there, um, maybe those won't show. It looks like there's another piece that goes over the top of that. Um, so that may not be a problem. That actually might cover that. So that's a, that's a good thing. Um, Everything else looks like it's pretty standard. Um, these steps here, you got a lot of smaller parts that are going in here. This is fairly well detailed for 148 and you know a World War II um, aircraft, so it's fairly well detailed. And uh, you've got uh, the seat belts here being being assembled, and it gives you the option you can use them or not. Um, I'm inclined to do this in an in-flight mode, maybe maybe even a, in a diving uh, pose. Um, so, you know, I'd need to have some pilots, so I probably wouldn't use these, but um, if I could find some pilots uh, for the kit, then uh, that definitely that would go with that. But, uh, so moving on here, uh, moving into, still into the interior, um, uh, the, assembling the rear cockpit here, and I believe this is the uh, ring for the, for the rear machine guns. Um, yeah, putting the wings together, wings go on, uh, rear elevators, just standard stuff there. 
here's assembling the uh, the engine um, and attaching it to to the firewall um, and here's your front machine guns again uh, landing gear coming together and this is where it gives you the option of the two different tires um, pay attention to the actual angle of these um, it looks like these shouldn't be straight up and down they should be um, at a six degree angle as it's giving us there so make sure uh, when you're assembling this that you're checking that and then uh, armament uh, like I said yep you have a you have a choice of 100 pound bombs and that is a thousand pound bombs Wow did I under misunder I underestimated that but that's a thousand pounds for the for the main bomb um, and then uh, you have a choice for the uh, speed brakes you can either do full open or partially open or fully closed um, so however you choose to pose it um, I think most people are going to want to pose it open at some point because I mean that just looks looks better to me I mean that's the point of the of the aircraft and it's a feature of the aircraft is those speed brakes um, so then uh, you have more going on here it shows you more about the assembly um, and then uh, finally assembling the cowl around the around the engine um, detail parts going on and then assembling the, the canopy so um, thankfully it does have the mast in, in here um, this type of canopy can be a bit of a challenge to uh, to mask for some people so um, thankfully they do have the mask in the kit and that you know that should work out fairly well if they work good um, and then the rear machine gun going on and then finally the propeller and all of the small bits and pieces so that's the uh, manual there and then like I said the second manual um, has the stencil data and then you have three choices um, unfortunately this isn't in color but that's okay too um, you got three choices of aircraft looks like um, uh, SBD 5 uh, from VB 10 from looks like USS Enterprise carrier CV 6 uh, from June 1944 and then um, you have another one from VB 5 from CV 10 uh, I'm not sure which aircraft carrier that is. I'm sure someone out there most likely can state that off the top of their head. And then uh, you have a Marine Corps aircraft. Um, looks like this one is actually built on uh, or designed to represent uh, an actual aircraft flown by um, um, a couple of Marines from the war. Um, so this was uh, from uh, VMSB 231 Ace of Spades. Um, in spring 1944 so you get a choice of a Marine Corps aircraft also so pretty standard there and then you have your have your sprue map so that's uh, pretty much the kit everyone uh, like I said very very uh, very detailed for for a uh, 148th aircraft uh, I'm very impressed with the with the panel lines Although I'm looking here at the kit, or the box art, which is which is also nicely done, but um, the box art shows that instead of panel lines, it has rivets, um, and these look like raised rivets. I'd have to check resources, um, but um, not sure. Some people, some folks might want to rivet this, and if they're raised rivets, you're looking at probably a decal option in order to be able to do that. So, um, depending on your references, that's something you might consider on doing, but. Uh, very good kit for the money. Like I said, this was around $25 um, in the U.S. So uh, nicely done by Academy, with uh, especially including cartograph decals with it. Um, looking forward to building this one. This would be a fairly quick build, I think, and just doing it out of the box. So that's it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you have a good day.